Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be vlogging. Um, this is gonna be like one of my first official vlogs. But I'm gonna be traveling to Des Moines, Iowa for the US Championships. It's by far the largest meet that I will be competing at so far. And I'm excited. You probably can't tell on my face but I'm extremely excited. Um, usually I don't get excited for things until the very last minute. Like, I'm talking about, oh, it's time to go put on your shoes and go check in. But it's different this time. I'll try to vlog this um, when it's, when I'm, blah, 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 blah. when it's time for me to compete. I clearly will not be vlogging, but I'll have someone to record my jumps and I'll insert them into the video. And then I'll try to vlog as much as I can. I'm extremely new to this, so please forgive me. The vlogs will get better. But if you would like to continue, see me go on this journey, um, then continue watching. Until further ado, see you guys at the end of this video. Picking up my little sister. Wait, how do you flip this? <laughs> Say hi. I call a bro, you said he ready for the shade. What you claim? You a lame, you ain't never put it. Okay, guys, I just checked in. People are looking at me all weird. Um, anyways, just checked in. I got my little pass. Lamaya's here with me. Hello. Yes. Right, you heard her. Right, right, right. Um, I got some heat damage, but we're gonna ignore that. I didn't know I was taking a picture today. Um, yep, there we go, making rookie moves already. If I would have known I was taking a picture, I would have taken this hair down. But it's gonna be down tomorrow. But I'll check back in later. I'm gonna move out of the way. <laughs> and then a couple drills and some bounding and before I went out to practice after I had warmed up I got some treatment sorry I'm eating some uh, rice cakes caramel they're very good but anyways I had got some treatment um, it was one of the best treatments I've ever had I didn't have oh, I've never had anything like it before so I got adjusted I got a massage got stretched um, and it was great and I had a great conversation with the guy that was doing it but I felt very official because it was something that I needed um, yeah so we're about to shower and get something to eat and come back and relax until showtime tomorrow stay tuned Lamaya, what you gotta say to the vlog? Anyways, today is competition day. 
to head to the track, see a couple of events. I don't know actually if they've started yet, but there's some downtime until I compete, so that's that. And I'll jump up in once I get there. Heat number three, Nicolobo for men's 800. Very hip number one. And heat number two underway. Joanna Atkins out well in five. Atkins in five. That's Hello. Hey, we're at our version of Tinder. We're at <laughs> Chili's. Guys, say hi to the vlog. I'll tag y'all. Say hi. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're waiting on our food. This is so weird. We're waiting on our food. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You have to do the original, man. So be like, hey, I just competed. This is how I feel. Whoa. Yes, you guys can have some. That's great. Yep, just competed. Um, I will check in with you guys later on how I competed and how I felt, answer some questions. No, we're going for it. Thank you. So I am back. Uh, it's the end of day two. I competed at 6:30 today. I finished around maybe eight something, maybe. I don't know, but it was all one flight. It, I believe it was a flight of 16. Um, I jumped against some really good jumpers. Like, People, a couple of them were my inspirations, a couple of them I've been following throughout the season, just, you know, checking on how they've been jumping and things like that. Um, yeah, but can't complain about how today went at all. Um, my knee injury, well, can't really call it an injury because I was still competing, but my knee's been very sore the past month or so and i had some kt tape on it it was okay for a while but ankle has been better from outdoor nationals in may i'm gonna go ahead and get into these questions that i've been asked so one was what's your mentality going into the field don't expect anything no, don't worry about anyone else and how they jump or what they jump. Just go in there open-minded. Know that I can do what I put my mind to. It. I didn't give myself a goal because I didn't want to limit myself, which is good. I like doing that. Um, I started doing that this season because I used to give myself a goal. But then if I didn't make that goal that meet, I'd be a little upset, so now that I don't give myself a goal, I'm not too upset when I don't do as good because there's nothing to, like, you know, compare to or whatever. Um, how much impact does your coach have on you? My coach has a big impact on me because he's helped me these past four years get to where I am today, and... Of course, he's made a bunch of sacrifices. He spends a bunch of time with athletes and around track and things like that. So um, he's a pretty big impact on me, and I thank him for that. Shout out Coach Dana. The next question is, how do you keep motivation after failing and being rejected multiple times? To keep motivation after failing... 
I usually just look back on the times, on all the times that I've been successful, and I try not to dwell on the past. All right, if you made it to the end of this video, I want to thank you for watching. Um, thank you for following my journey. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, and share with your friends. I know y'all have friends, so share the video, please, and thank you. Yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Not sure when that's going to happen. Um, give me some ideas if you have any. Please and thank you. Any ideas, welcome.